So this study was done by the DNR and used historical records to track kelp's health. Kelp forests play an important role for a lot of species that live in Puget Sound, which is why this drop-off they found is concerning. Puget Sound is home to 22 types of kelp, and it plays an important role for the plants and animals that live here. Kelp is the base of our food chain. So if you care about salmon, if you care about orcas, if you care about birds, if you care about forage fish, then you don't know it, but you care about kelp. Which is why Helen Berry and a team set out to study kelp with a recent paper looking at long-term trends. To fill the data gap, we reconstructed kelp distribution over the last 145 years in South Puget Sound. And 145 years takes us back to um, early European sediment. They did that by using old maps, charts, and documents to see where bull kelp is and was. Uh, bull kelp is on those maps because it's an aid to navigation. And this is one of the old historical maps that I worked with from 1878. And you see these little, those little features there, they're little like wavy kelp lines. That's the kelp wow. from 1878. And this is one of the areas of loss, uh, Johnson Point. And what they found is South Puget Sound's shorelines have lost two thirds of their kelp forests since 1870. Barry says there are a couple of culprits here, but mainly the impacts of people on water quality and climate change. So with a better knowledge of history, they can better understand where to protect kelp and where to try and help it recover. I mean, what is the big takeaway that you would want the average person to, to know about kelp in Puget Sound? Kelp is really important. It's an unsung sung hero and we are losing it. However, we haven't lost it entirely and there are things we can do to continue to conserve it and our ecosystem of Puget Sound. Michael Crow, King 5 News.